The friends you talk to, the pets you play with, the flowers you see, the bees by a fountain, the trees that give you shade. All living things are made of cells. When we look inside this microscopic world, all we see is simply cells. Hello, I'm Kimberly Morgan, and today we're going to take an in-depth look at the building blocks of life, cells. And at the end of this program, you'll be able to identify the basic parts of an animal cell and a plant cell. You'll also be able to list the functions of those structures in the cell. We're also going to show you how to build a cell model. It's a great way to see that cells are three-dimensional structures. They certainly don't look that way through a microscope. And they didn't look three-dimensional when Robert Hooke, an English physicist in the 1600s, saw them. He coined the term cells after observing cork through a compound microscope. He thought the small boxes looked like rooms or cells in a monastery. And ever since then, we've been using the term to describe the smallest unit of life. 